San Francisco state regulators just gave self-driving car companies, Waymo and Cruise, approval to launch paid 24-7 self-driving robo-taxi services. The two companies have already been testing the robo-taxis on San Francisco streets, but now they're going to be able to charge passengers eventually, putting them in direct competition with Uber and Lyft. The commission voted that Waymo, owned by Alphabet, can drive up speeds of 65 miles an hour and can hit the road during inclement weather, while Cruise, which is owned by GM, is only allowed to drive at 35 miles an hour and will not be able to drive in bad weather. Joining us now to talk about this major development is famed futurist Michio Kaku. He is professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York and the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Quantum Supremacy, and kind of a, a gentleman that has an idea of the future and sort of the ethics of things. Dr. Kaku, good to have you back on. Is this a good, is this a good turn of events or are self-driving cars benevolent? Well, I think what's happening in San Francisco is going to be repeated around the country. I think a lot of people are watching what's happening in San Francisco and realize that the strongest argument against driverless cars came from the police, emergency crews, firemen. In case of emergencies, sometimes driverless cars get in the way. And so there are some minor glitches involved. But I think in the main, one by one, city after city will follow the lead of San Francisco with computer power doubling every 18 months with uh, all the infrastructure getting in place. I think we're seeing a glimpse of the future. I can see two things on the jobs front. And of course, everybody with two new technologies always predicts doom and gloom. The jo- and all we do is, is add jobs. On one hand, I could see the, the driverless cars ultimately replacing humans at Uber, Lyft, and others. But then again, on the other hand, I could see a doctor being, well, maybe that exists on its own plane. And then why do I need to own a car? Maybe the, the idea of car ownership goes away. That, that could be. I mean, in the future, you'll simply snap your fingers and a car will come and greet you. And so it means that the whole layers of redundancy could be eliminated. But also, look, lives can be saved using driverless cars as well. Think of how many people die in, in drunken car accidents. Uh, in the future, driverless cars will simply not work if there's alcohol in the air. And so we're talking about saving lives with driverless cars. We're talking about being Uh able to handle emergencies, being able to handle drunk drivers. We're looking at the future. Yeah, you know, the the future, as they say, is coming. (laughs) Michio Kaku, really appreciate it. Thank you, doctor. Have a great weekend.